Welcome to AFTV. I have Ada with me and we've just come off the back of a 3-1 win against Olympiacos. Um, I said this just recently, it's, it sounds good on paper, 3-1, but watching the game, it's very nervy, um, very stressful from my side. I don't know how it was your side. I don't know what your thoughts were, but I'd, I, I still worry. I still have worries. What about you, Ada? I think we played well. At the end of the day, we are trying to get into the quarterfinals of a two-legged tie, um, yeah. especially with El Nene. We let go at the end. He took us to the quarterfinals, in my opinion, because Olympiacos now need to score at least, I mean, give us like a free, a three-goal lead, you yeah. know, in the second leg. So all is well that ends well. And we are very happy that <laughs> Olympiacos didn't capitalize on our mistakes. Mm. There's still a lot of disharmony in our back line. We have to be honest. Our Teta has to work on that. Yeah. But altogether, a good game. Great to have, great to have the front foot. Definitely, you talk about disharmony in the back line now. It's 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 becoming a regular theme that there's there's mistakes within within the in this um the, in the club at the back. David Luiz had one that he got away with passing, um, getting dispossessed and the, the guy missing, and obviously Sabios. I don't, well, let's 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 talk about that firstly. Who, who do you put the blame to for for that mistake? Is it Sabios or is it the goalkeeper? We have to look at the initial pressure from the goalkeeper because I would say Leno in that initial. Um, spot making that spot decision in that mm. mid split second to play the ball to Sabayos. I mean, he had different options. He could have played it long. He could yep. have played it to Gabriel or Luis. So I put. I felt he he put Sabayos. Unfortunately, he put Sabayos under pressure. Sabayos, with his quality from Real Madrid, played so well. He should have, you know, been wary of the man coming to get the ball, dispossess him. You know, so yeah. Mm. That's another that that both of them are culpable, but yeah, Leno is more culpable there. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I want to quickly just um just hone in quickly on on the starting eleven. Now, me, James, and Robbie here, we we kind of had a similar similar starting elevens. But the only thing that was kind of different was our midfield pairing of uh, either Jacker and Partey or Sabias and Partey. I don't know what, who you'd prefer to have seen. I'd love to know who you'd thought you what pairing you'd want in that midfield, and if there was any other surprises from the eleven that that you didn't expect to see. I was happy with the 11. William has been assisting. Um, I yeah. thought he kind of merited a start. And Odegaard, you know, has something different to bring. Um, when you look at the the, the 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 setup that was there this time last year, we, mm. it's, very, it's important to bring in new legs in, you know, players that they didn't play against, people that could bring some kind of surprises. So I, I was happy to see Odegaard, you know, William, sort of Gabriel starting and party. You know, they didn't see these guys in, in this same fixture last year. Mm. And um, they, they all they all did did their own bits, you know, to contribute to the win. In terms of, I was happy with the starting lineup, actually. Okay, no, yeah. perfect. Um, who stood out for you for man of the match for Arsenal today? Uh, I, 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 I can't because it was like this sort of game where, we, we, we did well, you know, we had mm. possession and all of that. But at the same time, it was like more like a team effort. But I was very grateful for Gabriel's header. It was yep. quite a difficult move to do in football. Technically, he did very well. And, um, you know, his general comportment in the game as well, you know, as, a, as an individual performance, I'll give it to Gabriel. But happy that El Nene put us on that third goal because for me, that sort of just, you know, put, puts the tie out of sight for us. Definitely, um, El Nenny. Yeah, I mean, a lot of fans, especially here, when when we when we saw him, the camera panned to him getting take stripping off to come on. Uh, there was mixed there was mixed emotions. A lot, a lot of people were getting a bit um, out irate about it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he he proved us all wrong, shall we say? He to come on and did score that screamer. Um, but I'm just I'm going to question: Do you think he deserves? Does he deserve a start next week in in the next in the second leg, or would you say he's still more of an impact sub to come on? In the second leg, um, I'll, I'll first wait to see how we do in the derby because mm -hmm. I feel that when he was coming on, I wasn't I wasn't too um, disgruntled about it or displeased because I felt since Partey got um, sub subbed off, we kind of lost control of the midfield. So I thought oh, yeah. you know, bringing El Nene, you know, sort of put on the hand brakes there so that we don't lose complete control. And then let's see where we can get a goal. I was very happy now to see Pepe coming because Pepe always causes problems. Yep. If you give him time, he's going to maybe make them concede a, a penalty or something. I, he wins free kicks. He's just that kind of player yeah. you know, getting into spaces. So, yeah, it was good to see um, Pepe come on in, you know, shortly after he did anyway. 
definitely. Yeah. Ada, thank you so much for, for your words today. And again, we'll speak with you soon. Thank you so much. Today's show is sponsored by Profit Accumulator, the UK's number one match betting service. So what is match betting? It's a method that's used by individuals to profit from free bets and incentives offered by bookmakers. By leveraging one bookie's offer against another bookie's offer, it's possible to ensure that the odds are in your favor. And when you sign up to Profit Accumulator, they will walk you through how to do match betting with their easy to follow video guides. Profit Accumulator have a friendly seven day a week customer support team that will help you with any questions that you might have. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and you can start your Profit Accumulator journey today and you won't regret it.